G'day and welcome back to Unimig. Today I'm going to run you through the complete setup guide for the Viper Cut 30. Please note that this machine is subject to three main elements, travel speed, amperage and air pressure. For this demonstration, we'll be using a constant 75 psi air pressure, however the amperage and travel speed per 100 millimetres will differ per thickness of material. We will have a link to download the general guidelines in the description below for both ferrous and non-ferrous materials. First, let's plug our 10 amp machine into our wall socket, then turn the machine on and organise our suitable PPE. Step 1. Connect air compressor. To connect the air compressor, simply attach the end of the hose to the air regulator on the back of the machine. If using a normal hose, not a quick connect, make sure you crimp it tight. Now adjust the pressure to get just over 0.5 MPA, equivalent to 75 PSI. Step 2. Torch setup. The SC30 plasma torch that comes with this machine will already be set up. However, to set up this torch from scratch, you'll need a gas distributor, electrode, torch tip and the shroud. To put together, simply place on the gas distributor, screw on the electrode, place on the tip and finally screw on the shroud. Step 3. Amperage adjustment. Different thicknesses of material or the material itself require different amperages to cut. Starting with ferrous metals, with 2 to 3 mm requiring 24 amps, moving at 360 mm per minute. 5 to 6 mm requiring 27 amps, moving at 340 mm per minute. 8 to 10 mm requiring 30 amps, moving at 240 mm per minute. And finally, 12 mm also requiring 30 amps, but moving at a slower 200 mm per minute. Moving on to non-ferrous metals. With 2 to 3 mm requiring 25 amps, moving at 360 mm per minute. 5 mm requiring 27 amps, moving at 300 mm per minute. And finally, 6 mm requiring 30 amps, moving at 300 mm per minute. Step 4. Cutting. The final step is to attach the earth clamp to the workpiece or workbench and start cutting. 